Hello and welcome back. This is I Like Stoats, and yeah, welcome back to our Mardek playthrough. I just wanted to ask you uh, if you've enjoyed this series so far. Uh, why not subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified whenever I put out new videos? And obviously, also like the video, comment, tell me essentially if you like this or if you don't. Why not? So I, I get an impression if this is a good idea to keep on doing. Uh, I. I am liking this project so far, and who knows if this turns out people like it, uh, I might might make more of it. More more different projects. I have a few ideas. But for now, we're in this dungeon, in the catacombs. We're about to find Morik, the necromancer. Well, we'll take him down. We're well prepared, I think. Actually, I I looked at looked at another video and I think I forgot something. It turns out in we we, we killed this bandit chief way early in the game, right, Murians? He actually has like a stash if you go back into the mine, uh, which you can collect, and it has like a very nice piece of armor there. So we might end up doing that later after we've finished this thing over here. I'm skipping battles at the moment. I'm not sure we we even need to fight, to be honest, because we're we're very well leveled, as I see it. And with our smite undead abilities, uh, ooh, bone slicer. That would have been for for Zach, the mercenary, I think. Uh, come on, let's take let's take a battle for old time's sake, if just to uh, level up our abilities, spirit blade. Disrupt undead. Regular attack. Yeah, I would like to would like to learn disrupt undead on Vern, at the very least, so we can equip him with the other sword. Because there's another sword I think which has like damage plus ten, to plus ten percent, and he doesn't know that ability yet. So if we gave him that, he could learn that as well, which would be very nice. Actually, I'm gonna not even bother with Emma because she she doesn't have any abilities she needs to master. Unlike my man Vern over here. Okay, you know what? Actually, this might sound crazy, but I'm going to try to set battle quality to medium. I think it was the particle effects that were most uh, most taxing. Like when Emila cast, cast the multi-target spells, and there would be all the stones, and it would slow the, <laughs> slow the game down to a crawl. I think that was the issue. Uh-oh. That's ominous music if I've ever, ever heard any... Zombie warrior. Oh no, a plot unrelated boss monster. Ah, oh, those are the worst. Okay. Uh, is he weak against me? Yes, he is weak against me. Okay, very nice. Disrupt undead. Because I'm smart, I'm gonna go back and restore my health. Uh, sneaky, sneaky boy. Hmm. 
Morik. Row off. Morik. Row off. Morik. Row off. Morik. Did you come here to find me and destroy me? Yes, that is an accurate statement. Oh good, because I'd feel awfully neglected if you were here for some other reason. You need to be annihilated, Rolof. You know too much. You must pay the price for committing the acts of traitory, scrubbing the back of traitordom, and suckling the sweet, sweet teat of traitorness. I was sent here to vanquish you, O oh white anti-reaper, for if left to live, to breathe, to... Wait. Rohoff, you appear to have a completely different body, unless I'm completely mistaken, yes? I do have a different body, but it's irrelevant. I'm still the same old soul, and I know all that I knew before the transfer. I see. As I was saying, if left to live, to breathe, to speak and spread your knowledge, you could rally a resistance against us. Which is exactly what I'm planning on doing. And though it's unlikely that they can stop us with the blood-prickling power of the violet crystal that we can harness, it would still be an inconvenience we could do without it. Hence my being here. But why did you come? Surely you had a near infinite amount of lackeys you could have sent to do your dirty work instead. And why did you take this long to get here? I mean, it's been eight years or so. I got here from Anjan a few weeks. When I came here, my goal was to destroy you and then depart. To rend you limb from limb, bathe in your blood and sneer as your flesh was consumed by beasts and your pallid robe was torn into at least seventeen shredded strips, soaked in the humours of corporeal life. And since I arrived, I have realised there is so much more potential. Yes. Oh, what do you mean? Are you becoming more aware of what that crystal's doing to your mind since you're so far away from it and outside of its field of effect now? I said previously that the crystal gives us power. And I crave power. I lap it up like a starved nongle that's also thirsty and rabid. Power is my drug, my purpose. Power. Oh, how I drool at the thought of the things I could do with the clenched, showering fist full of power. But I digress, you know. What I came to realize is that this planet is oozing with the potential for power. The potential for me to have power. To suck it from, from it like a blowfly sucking the juices of a newly hatched snag hound. To drain the power and absorb it. You see, with the ease of a knuck leaping over the malodorous mound of rotting beast flesh, I could conquer this world. I could have it in my grasp like a thing that is in my grasp. This is an underdeveloped world, a class four. They would worship me as a God and be unable to resist my girdling power. It would be just in thriller racing. Yes, yes. Much more so than just killing you to death or then leaving at any rate. Yes, yes. So, uh, Emma, are you paying any attention to any of this? I'm trying to figure out what's going on. That's not Mardek talking, is it? Is it some kind of demon that's possessed him or something? Something like that. I should really disapprove of this demon possession thing, being the holy righteous paladin that I am, but, uh, hey. Are you sure you won't come to your senses, Morik? I really don't want to destroy you. We used to be like brothers. You know that's a lie, Rohoff. We are polar opposites in our fields of magic. You specialize in giving life, I in taking it away and doing foul, turgid, horrible things to create perverse imitations of it. You always disliked me. I do admit that I didn't completely approve of your abilities, but dislike you? Oh, I think that's a bit harsh. You used to insult me regularly. You lorded over me, belittled me, told me I was a stain on the cloth of existence. When you were angry, at least, I could tell you thought such things deep down always, yes. What? That's not... It wasn't like that. I was too shy of them. Yes, quiet. I just took the blows, said nothing. But it hurt deep down, yes. 
scarred me like a keen knife carving gracefully through the flesh of one's pallid forearm. Morik, now though I have power, yes, much power, more than even you, O oh pale ghost, and I am going to complete my mission now before getting back to my own concerns. Yes, I'll tear your new body a few new orifices into which I'll pour a slime so foul and black it'd make your vomit vomit in rage that such an atrocity should have ever come into existence. Now is the time for you to pay for so much, Rohoff. Our governance will not return to the sorry state it was in before. Die! Okay, uh, they fo they're focusing Emola, and she's pretty low. What do we have here? Air magic, uh, fire magic, what do we do? Actually, uh, gonna try to take care of the ghouls first. Because, if I remember correctly, Morg does resummon these, and that distracts him from more pressing matters, like uh, killing us. Indeed. Maybe heal Emola. Stun and blindness. Ah. Uh, well. What do we do? Lightning bolt. Uh, that always helps, eh, Emma? The old lightning bolt to the face. That's annoying. Can I remove taints with... Rohoff on multiple allies? Huh, we'll see, I guess. Yeah, uh, probably that's not. No, that's gonna help. Yeah, disrupt undead to beast to master the skill. Ah, no, I can't. I can try at least. I am gonna heal Vern first. Yeah, there you go. That, he's, he's distracted. He's gonna. He's summoning. He's summoning his, his allies. Lightning bolt. Excellent. Is he weak to, to ether? Ether is the element of which which I'm de dealing with spirit blade. So, uh, huh? Looks like spirit blade might be good against more himself too. That's, uh, that's a lot of damage. I'll say that. Yeah, I should have taken out the zombies first. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna revive our old friend Vern here. Yeah, you Marduk, you have to heal us. Yeah, that helps a bit. This usually means uh, you have less of a chance to hit. But it worked out. I think Marduk's gonna have to heal us again. I just hope he doesn't do the cataclysm. That would be uh, the worst case scenario. Ah, thank you. That's that's much less bad. Yeah, focus, focus him.
nice. And we have defeated Morik. I regret that I made no difference, yes. Now, I come to you at last, my servant, my weapon, my master. Grr. It is done. Martek, Dugan, go, other guy. We should return to the surface. We can discuss things once we get there. This is no place for that sort of thing. Let's, let's go now. And here they are, the soldiers, no, the guards, no, the heroes who saved the day. The kingdom owes so much to your efforts and achievements. Thank you, your majesty, we're flattered. Keep this up, and quite soon you'll be official royal knights quite easily. Your mission is complete. You soldiers will now receive your pay, 1,000 generic gold coins each. Ooh. I'll be sure to spend it on uh, shoes or makeup or something. Me too. You are now dismissed, guards. You'd better get some rest. It's been a long, tiring day for you three, I'm sure. You will be informed if any other missions become available. What a day this has been. Your lord truly smiled on us today. Anyway, I'm going to the monastery to pray for a bit. Then I suppose I'll stay at the inn for the night. Perhaps we could travel again sometime? But for now, adios! Well guys, this has been really fun. I can honestly say I enjoy traveling with both of you. It's certainly a million times better than being in a party with Steel, but that's not saying much. Yes, Steel. I'm, a, I'm just glad you liked adventuring with us. Let's do it again sometime. We'd certainly love your company, eh, Marduk? Well, definitely. Good to know. That thing with Marduk was pretty weird, though. That whole demon possession thing. And so I was fighting what looked like death, too. That's certainly not what I was expecting at all when I came to join the Gosnor Guard. I'd love to talk about it all with you now, though, but I'm exhausted. I'll see you guys tomorrow, maybe? Sure. Good nighty night for now, then. I, I don't know about you, Marduk, but I'm completely exhausted, too. I can barely stand up, so I'm going to bed, too. See ya. Okay, so this might be an opportunity for us to... First, heal Marduk. That'll be a, a necessity. And then, look at the mines, because I was talking about the about the piece of armor, I think, that I would, that I missed earlier. Ah, let's, let's look right direct first. And who do we have here? A chest. Nice. Shield made of bronze. And a miner. You're the guards that saved us from the bandits, eh? Good work, youngins. We're thankful for that. Really, we are. Here, take this item thingy as a gift for, from all us miners as a way of saying thanks. I hope you guards use it to help you fight the good fight. Very nice. What do we have here? Pickaxe pendant. Yeah. Why not? Why not, indeed? I don't think I need to fight these uh, mineshaft fights again. Gold? Uh-huh. Ooh, tectonic sword. Ah, earth slash. That would have been <laughs> that would have been useful uh, in the lake battles with Dugan. Oh well. Yeah, I mean these. If you've not noticed, I mean, these games follow an element system where certain characters are weak to certain elements and it has sort of a sort of a rock, paper, scissors element to it. So I think earth is weak against air, air is weak against fire, fire against water, uh, water against earth. So fairly balanced in that way. And then, then there's light and dark and light and dark are essentially weak to each other. But so that's fairly boring. Aha, here we are. Banded leather. Very nice. 
Phoenix Downs. Oh, nice bit of cash and a fire pendant. I like it. Okay. So have we mastered? Yes, we have mastered Cory Undead, which means we could could technically use the Keyblade. Very good. Um, anything else? Right, the Bandit Leather. Let's let's equip that. Evasion. Eh. Yeah, we've mastered Insomnia. No. Nah. Have to be quick with these things. Yeah, let's take this way. Let's take this way back. The other way. That was the the way we started. Ah. Grass. Level two and level three. I'm level twelve. What do you have against me? Nothing. Nothing at all. Fall to my blade, my key blade. Excellent. can finally go to sleep. Mardek! Uh, Dugan, you should probably listen to. I've been thinking. Uh, what, what is it? What's the matter? Well, we defeated Morik back there, yes? Uh, that much is obvious. But consider this. My body was destroyed too, and yes, here I am. So? So that other death guy might have survived the death of his physical body too and lived on? But wait, wouldn't he have needed another body to go into like you did? There weren't any around apart from us, and he didn't go into any of us like you did with Marduk. There weren't any around? Oh no, how silly of you! We were in a tomb! There were bodies everywhere! But don't you need an alive body? Not necessarily. It's preferable and easier, says I, as if I have experience transferring my soul, even though I've only done it once. But Morik's a necromancer. I'd honestly think he'd rather have a dead body than a live one. You're also not limited by the body's element if it's dead, anyway. I was able to share Mardek's body with him because we're both light. But if we were different elements, it wouldn't have worked. Now, the soul determines the element, though, so evacuated bodies offer no such limitation. And if you're wondering why the undead have elements, well, their elements are determined by the necromantic energy that animates them. If that's the case, then couldn't he have repossessed his own corpse? <laughs> You'd think so, wouldn't you? But unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Uh, it can't. As for why not, that's technical and irrelevant. I'm greatly concerned that Morik may yet perpetuate his existence on this physical plane, and you saw how he was when we battled him back in the catacombs. He seemed dead set on conquering this world for his own selfish pleasures, and we must stop him. But how do we know he does still live or exist or whatever? We don't, but I'd bet all your money on it. As for finding him, that should be simple. Just, well, I know you're both exhausted, but rest lightly tonight and get what rest you can. I have a feeling something's going to happen really soon. Oi! Mardek! Get up! Hmm. What? It's... it's happening! The thing that Rohoff predicted! What exactly has Morik done? Jacques, Jacques says that a black mist has appeared over Canonia, just like how one appeared over Gosnor. But there's not just that. Apparently this big black solid cloud thing has appeared over the village, burning with magical green fire or something. Ah. Oh. Well, that would be his battleship. I'm surprised he didn't use that before on Gosnor. We must act, and quickly. Morik's battleship has power like nothing you've ever witnessed before, and though I can't imagine him putting it to quick use, the death of one's body can injure one's mind, and Morik's was fractured enough to begin with. Who knows what will do? But we need some way to get to the battleship. It's suspended in the air, yes? Do you have magic in this world that can allow you to fly? 
Um, I don't think there are any spells like that, at least none that I've ever heard of, but uh, I suppose we could ask the best magical people around if they know anything we could use. But uh, we need to act quickly. Cat, please! Cananea's in danger, and that place isn't as well defended as Gosnor. Well, let's go now, then. We can't just head to Cananea straight away, though. We at first we need to find a skilled magic user capable of assisting us. Oh, all right, a skilled magic user, eh? Well, the battle goes on, but the battle shall go on in the next episode of Mardek, the Let's Play series. I'll see you guys then.